It's been almost 20 years since the conflict ended in Northern Ireland and yet the peace walls still remain and sadly our communities remain deeply segregated. These barriers provided safety and security for residents over the 40 years of the conflict. But since the Good Friday Agreement, uh, communities are coming forward and asking for the walls to be remodelled and in some cases for the walls to be taken down. The Housing Executive have been working intensively with the communities of Ardoin and the Woodfield, trying to help them vision what their areas would look like if the walls were to come down. Housing Executive has been instrumental in that work about trying to find ways, creative ways to solve the problems that we have identified. Often that's the hardest part for residents, how they can actually imagine an area without that wall that's been with them for the entire length of their tenancy. Quite rightly the barriers need to be removed, but they will only be removed at a pace at which communities are comfortable with. This is really the journey of these two communities and how they are taking these brave steps to move forward to a shared future in one of the most contentious areas in the whole of Northern Ireland. My name is Ian McLaughlin and I'm a community development worker within the Greater Shankill area, working primarily within the unionist community. Uh, my name is Rob McCollum and I'm the coordinator of the North Belfast Interface Network. It's a good relations programme. The work that's taken place is in Ardoin and it's predominantly seen as a Republican nationalist community. The extent of the works on the Ardoin side of the road have to be commended, Ab absolutely true. Um, but the set of circumstances we faced internally would be meant that we couldn't physically alter the wall. So what we, what we tried to do as a first step was to and broaden it out to clean up the whole area. We have to find a way where it, it's suitable for all of us, where we all you know, get out there and make sure that everyone's coming away from this process feeling that they've done a good job. I think for us, the mere fact that we can now agree to disagree is huge progress from the early days when we first started to work together. in here in 1986 with the kids and that, you know what I mean, the wall, as you can see, that's the way the wall was. It's been like part of the community, you know, all these years and the early sort of times you felt safe, but now I think it's time enough for the, the wall to come down. Most of the people who live in this block, you know, are happy enough with the wall, with the, the, the fact that the wall's coming away after all these years. Things have changed and it is time to move on and I think it will be good that the wall is down. I think maybe if we see this wall coming down and hopefully there is no trouble, then maybe all our communities will you know, go by this and maybe the walls will come down in our communities. The area behind me is to be completely remapped. The obtrusive railings and the, the high wall structures are to be re-imaged. Um, there will be an open space created with art pieces in place, which will be designed by this community. Um, and it's basically trying to bring this, this area back into use by all the community. There's a multitude of uh, feelings uh, amongst residents when you begin a conversation about the alteration of a structure such as this. And we're very proud of a community mandate, is that this work should take place. I not believe it's going to happen, it's just, you know, nah, it's um, been unreal. It's an exploration and I just hope that people get this works and people can see it at work. Well, it's, it's a bit nostalgic, you know, because it's been there that long, just to see it coming away, you know. There is people at the other side of the wall, you know what I mean, it like, goes on and both sides of the wall. You were in fear, you know, say what, 16 years ago, but now things have changed, so. Just hopefully cross fingers, everything will be okay. Everybody can live together and get on together. Our job is to work to try and ensure that 
real regeneration takes place in and around interface communities. The interface communities that have bore the brunt of the most recent conflict in this country need, in our opinion, to have positive impact um, from regeneration activity which could provide jobs or even training opportunities for the people who live in these areas. There are signs of progress in this community and, and all right think that people will welcome that. Particular thanks must be paid to Rav and Ian who really led out in the project. We have to understand that if we're going to move forward and making a shared future in Northern Ireland, it is people like the ones living beside this peace wall that are going to make that difference and we need to be there to support them.